This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayodi. President Muhammadu Buhari has asked the All Progressives Congress APC to give Nigerians a candidate who would give the masses a sense of victory and confidence even before the elections. The president gave this charge at the meeting with governors of the party and joining them to pick a presidential candidate that will reflect the values and virtues of the party. Buhari says the forthcoming process is a very significant one and its outcome should prove to the world the positive qualities of the APC regarding democratic principles, culture, as well as leadership. Speaking on behalf of the Governor's Forum, Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State says the party must build on successes of its recent elective convention and the primaries conducted so far and come up with a candidate who will walk in the footsteps of patriotism and love for the country. Meanwhile, President Buhari has departed Abuja from Madrid, Spain on a state visit at the invitation of the Spanish President Pedro Sanchez. He will also meet with the head of state of the Spanish nation, His Majesty King Felipe VI. Discussions will be centered on enhancing bilateral relations between the two nations. The Lagos State government has asked all law-abiding citizens to go about their businesses without any fear as it begins enforcement of its ban on commercial motorcycles, popularly known as Okada, in six local governments from today, June 1. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bingham Botosho, says measures have been put in place to forestall any disturbance. Lagosians and visitors are also urged to cooperate with the law enforcement agencies in the collective interest of all. Diverse reactions have trailed government's ban on motor cycles, but many believe the ban will not only ensure sanity on the roads, but also promote safety of lives and property as their activities cause traffic impediments and most times pose strong security threats. For now, the total ban will take place in Ikeja, Suruleri, Etiosa, Lagos Mainland, Lagos Island and Apakpa local government plus nine LCDAs. The United States says it will provide Ukraine with advanced rockets to help it force Moscow to negotiate an end to the war. President Joe Biden says this will help Ukraine strike more precisely key targets on the battlefield. The weapons long requested by Ukraine are to help it strike enemy forces more precisely from a longer distance. Until now, the U.S. had refused the request out of fear the weapon could be used against targets in Russia. But on Wednesday, Mr. Biden said the little aid will threaten Kyiv's negotiation position against Russia and make a diplomatic solution more likely. And that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember, do not go against the law. Always stop when it is stopped. Do not run the red lights. Have a fantastic day.